On this day, July 21, 1906, through the mediation of Porfirio Diaz, President of Mexico, and Franklin D. Roosevelt, future President of the United States, the Presidents of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras, faced in a war conflict over the construction of the Guatemalan Railroad, signed the peace. The war between Guatemala and El Salvador of 1906 was a brief conflict between those two Central American countries that occurred between July 9 and 11, 1906, and resulted in the death of Salvadoran commander Tomás Regalado, an ally of the government of General Porfirio Díaz in Mexico. The Guatemalan president, Manuel Estrada Cabrera, an ally of the government of President Theodore Roosevelt in the United States, was the great victor because after the victory he became the main government of the region and remained as such until he was overthrown in April 1920 by his own people. Faced with this situation, Estrada Cabrera issued a proclamation on July 10, 1906, in which he accused the Salvadoran government of invading Guatemala to prevent the completion of the Northern Railway and to put an end to the attempts of economic recovery of the Guatemalan government. In the same proclamation, Estrada Cabrera indicated that only the war was going to solve the situation and invited all Guatemalan military men or men with military training to enlist in the action against Regalado's forces. That same day, decree number 662 was issued, where all men without legitimate exception between 18 and 50 years of age, they had to report to their nearest barracks, and if they did not, they would be persecuted for treason. Citizens responded to the president call, and on July 11, there were numerous citizens in the quarters. The Guatemalan army requested reinforcement troops, which arrived from Sanarate, Salama, and Momostenango. These troops came dressed in blue and not khaki like the originals, which deceived Regalado, whose troops also wore blue. On July 11, 1906, Regalado was killed by Guatemalan soldiers when he believed he was among loyal troops. Seven Jalapenco, Colonel Rosalio López Jiménez, sent the following telegram to Estrada Cabrera after Regalado's fortuitous death. From six o'clock in the morning, the combat began. I took the Honduras to go to Coatepeque, where I received reinforcements from the battles Momostenango and Sanarate, and where Regalado came with the flag and the boys flew it. After almost two months of hostilities, the conflict ended thanks to the armistice signed aboard the U.S. warship Marblehead. After Guatemalan forces killed Geno Regalado, who had entered Guatemalan territory completely drunk. After Regalado's death, Salvadoran troops retreated to El Salvador, and subsequently the Treaty of Peace, Friendship and Commerce between Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador was signed on July 20, 1906, aboard the American cruiser Marblehead at the behest of the governments of the United States and Mexico. This was a day in the history of Honduras.